me what's your name, what's your title, what's your sign Know the shooter from the block, pick you up around nine Feeding nails done with the heels in the dress Maneuver to your lips while I whisper you the best Kisses on your neck, on your chest, on your flesh What's next? My baby said you better come correct Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to the K9 Family! <laughs> Today we are making a red velvet cheesecake. Okay, this idea was brought to me in a dream. We were sitting on the couch watching Squid Games and I was hungry and had a sweet tooth. And I started looking up recipes for cheesecake. And we both love cheesecake and I love red velvet cake. He loves red velvet cake. So I thought, why not make a red velvet cheesecake? So we're doing that. We have preheated our oven. It's still preheating to 325 degrees. All right, we have got a water bath to keep the oven nice and moist so that way the cake does not have cracks on the top. And if it does, I'm gonna be a very sad camper. Um, and then here we have the Mr. Andrew Jackson Jr. <laughs> portioning out our ingredients on the table. So okay, we got some cookie, oh, well, we have a charger, but that wasn't supposed to be there. We have some cookies. Some butter, cream cheese, eggs, more cream cheese. We've also got some red food coloring. The recipe we followed advised two bottles, but when we did one, we thought we didn't really need to. So we're gonna make it do what it do, baby. Um, the recipe also calls for some cream cheese icing. Mm -hmm. I already made that, pre-made it a couple days ago. Cream cheese, sugar and vanilla it wasn't that hard actually so we already got that pre-made like i said we got the oven preheating we are pre-portioning our ingredients and we will be back all right so we've got a bowl an empty bowl uh, we've got the allotted amount of sugar that we need how much sugar is this thing it was two tablespoons we got two tablespoons of granulated sugar um and we've got how many cookies um, 17. 17 Oreo cookies, including the cream in the middle. And Drew just took one of these little meat tenderizer mallet things and crushed them up. And we also got some melted butter. While he's mixing this stuff, I'm gonna spray the pan. We use olive oil over her, baby. Olive oil over her, baby. Straight out of tart. They have instructions on his phone. We got his bowl. He put the butter in first. And why did you do that, Andrew? Mm -hmm. It all gotta go together. Anyway. Okay. All right. Looks like we're adding the cookies. Oh, here's the sugar. Spoon. Mm -hmm. Actually, resourceful. That's what I'm talking about. All right, babe. Tell the people what you're doing. So I'm compressing the base of the crust. I guess you would call it. Um, and it's just gonna make the base of the crust. Uh, <laughs> you got to do. <laughs> you can use your hands. We just felt like it was easier to get all this down using the flat side of the mallet. Um, and then also remembering to put the sides of the crust so the cake doesn't fall through. Cause we made that mistake the other day. All right, so we finished the crust and now we are going to put out the mixer. And so I have a kitchen aid mixer that uh, a friend of my mom's actually gave me. Put that on there. Um, I wanna secure the bowl on each side. Each side. Yeah. Aw. Alright, so we're gonna do that. We're also gonna get the other ingredients and we'll be right back. Okay. Okay. We're back. Ran out of sugar. No worries, we're back. We got the sugar. We 
got our Craftsman, we got our other ready and preheated. We got all of our ingredients right here. And we got our Kitchen Aid mixer. I love this thing. She really does. Okay, so it says in a large bowl, prepare and combine the cream cheese and sugar at a medium low speed. So you wanna unwrap this for me? You can just put it in there. All right, so we are using uh, I prefer Philadelphia cream cheese. Uh, tastes better. I personally feel like the quality is a lot better than just like your average store brand cheese. So that's what I like to use when I'm baking. We went to Harris Teeter, like, we went to Harris Teeter the other day or earlier today and we got a double pack and then we got a single pack because it calls for 24 ounces of cream cheese. And one pack of cream cheese is eight ounces. And then we're gonna put it on low heat to stir. There's also a handle on this where you lift up the bowl. Just know that when you're doing this, if you do choose to do follow this recipe and use a kitchen aid, you do need a spatula to get the cream cheese down because this whisk act like it just wants to hold on to the cream cheese for dear life. Okay, so combining the cream cheese and the sugar at low speed for a mini, a mini. We got two cups of sugar. I'm gonna get all that sugar in there. the eggs. So we've got four eggs here. One, two, three, four. I don't want them to fall. Here we go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this on low. I'm gonna add the eggs one at a time. Four large eggs to be specific. And you wanna get all that cream cheese off the side. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All of this, get that off her. Get that off her, okay? And then we're just gonna scrape the sides. And then we're gonna just add the rest of the ingredients. So it looks like we've got three tablespoons of chocolate cocoa powder, two teaspoons of vanilla, half a cup of buttermilk, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, half a cup of sour cream. Last but not least, we have our red food color. All right, so this is what our bowl is looking like. So we've got, you know, the eggs, the cream cheese, the sour cream, the food coloring, the cocoa powder, the vanilla, the vinegar, all that good stuff. So we're gonna hit our settings again. I'm gonna keep it on low. I'm gonna just put the spatula here. Kind of, all right, all right. I'm gonna mix up the powder a little bit. Okay, you wanna bite, it's fine. Clearly, we have beef. Um trying to mix the freaking cocoa powder in there you know we got like i said with the cream cheese it's the same thing you gotta scrape the sides so i'm gonna scrape those sides get it all in there ah not the spatula all right all right, y'all. All right, let it mix. And I'm gonna let this mix for about a minute and just let everything really fully combine because we really don't want any like lumpy pieces or bits in it. We want everything to be mixed up pretty well so it's smooth, it's a smooth blend. And then we're gonna take it from here and put it in here. So we've got our batter. I will show you guys, but 
I need to get this bad boy. I need to get this little bad boy in the oven. If you do have a pan or water bath, if you're just doing a pan underneath your cake pan, you wanna put it on the bottom and then you'll put your cake pan on the top. I'm gonna let it bake for, I believe about 30 minutes. Uh, and then we're gonna turn it down a little bit and let it cook for an hour and a half. And then we'll let it sit in the oven with no temperature. I'm gonna turn the oven off. It's gonna sit in the oven for about 15 to 30 minutes. And we'll take it out, we'll let it cool, and then we'll put it in the fridge once it reaches room temperature to let that cool even longer for about four hours. And then she should be done. I can't wait to show you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. All right, so we are just gonna do a little quick update on our cake. This is what it looks like. I put it in a container after it cooled for about, I gave it about an hour and a half to let it cool at room temperature. You can do it longer, but I wanted to go ahead and get it over with because I love cheesecake and I wanted it to be in the fridge sooner than later. So here is our cake. We already put our icing on and it's been cooling for eight hours. This is the final product. So, I can't wait to eat it. I'm not gonna eat it on camera right now. I actually have to get ready to go to work. It is currently 8.11. So, I'm gonna get dressed, get ready to go, and then, yeah. See you in the next one. Bye.